If you haven't heard already, JP Dokkan and Global Dokkan are syncing timelines, and it is not good. Let me explain. In the recent Worldwide Celebration livestream, they announced that the timelines between the two versions would be merging. There is no official date as of yet, but it will happen soon. People on Twitter were quick to celebrate this, but unfortunately they seem to have missed a couple of key details. And of course, there are a couple of burning questions that need to be asked. So let's begin with the obvious. Global Dokkan will no longer have any kind of foresight. What I mean by this is that because JP Dokkan released units and events earlier, because the game in Japan was released earlier, those on the Global Dokkan side had the opportunity to plan out how they used their stones, as well as plan out how they played the game essentially. Losing foresight is quite a big L for Global, there's no denying it. The next big change is that both versions will likely have the same banner format. For example, three multi summons and get one free, some multis may get tickets, etc. And both versions will be able to drop more free to play units, which includes the friend point banner as well. One of the pros that comes from this merge is that it'll likely be easier to give feedback to the developers. Of course, this merge will likely mean that there'll be a consistent schedule. Now, in terms of unanswered questions, will barbershop deals come to the Japanese version of Dokkan? Or will it just be removed to match global? And furthermore, what's the deal with top grossing? Will there still be a massive difference between Japan and global? Or will they count both versions? There's one thing that really needs to be noted, and that's that the first few months before and after the timeline merge will be really slow for JP and really fast for Global. This is because Global has to catch up to JP and JP needs to slow down so that it doesn't accelerate past Global. Furthermore, they'll need to change the Global schedule to match JP's events. So for example, Tanabata on JP is the anniversary on Global. So a clue as to when this timeline merge might occur is that they might match the versions after the Tanabata on Global and perhaps their first United event will be during Christmas. I suppose that does get into another question, will they change the certain dates of certain events on Global? Like for instance, the anniversary. Will we have an anniversary that is the same on both versions? Only time will tell. Now me personally, I'm not overly ecstatic about the timeline merge. I think that there's a lot of pros and cons to it. I quite enjoyed the foresight. I quite enjoyed to be able to plan out how I play it on Global. Unfortunately, that's no longer going to be the case, but it is what it is. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and have a good one.